Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to the 12th grade uh, parent meeting. My name is Ralph Mayo. I'll get into that a little bit. I'm the principal of uh, Greenwich High School. But before I give you my welcome, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, two of our, uh, our, our, first of all, our 12th grade uh, coordinator, uh, Ms. Ann uh, Ranos, and uh, also Ms. Patricia Carey, who is going to be the graduation party coordinator. So ladies, please. Hi everyone, I'm Ann Vranos. I'm your grade 12 parent coordinator along with Susan Decker. And we just wanted to say thank you very much to Mr. Mayo and everybody else for taking the time out to get us all together and talk about this very unusual year. Um, I wanted to explain a little bit about the role of the parent coordinator. It's to be a liaison sort of between the parents of the 12th graders and the school in various ways. Um, any questions that you have, things that come up, it's gonna be a very busy year. Please feel free to ask us and if we don't have the answer for you, we will help find the person who can answer your question. Um, so think of uh, Susan Decker and I as sort of resources and liaisons, how, whatever's gonna make your life easier. I'm pretty sure my email and the email for our PTA email um, was on the agenda. So um, if anyone, needs to get in touch with us, that's the best way to do it. I'm Ann Vranos at Gmail, fairly straightforward. And I believe the other one is grade 12 coordinator at GreenwichSchools.org. Um, so please, any questions you can have, we know this is gonna be a different and unusual and really great year for these kids. We wanna make it that way. So if we can help at all, that would be great. And um, one thing, a oh, great way to also stay connected is to please join the PTA. The PTA has already done so many great things. It's just October, but we're asking everyone to join no matter your contribution because um, it's important to be a member, have a voice, have a say when things come up. We've already voted to increase the budget for ventures and education. I know that they've already bought picnic tables for the kids to be outside. So it's a very hard working group of people and uh, your support will be greatly appreciated. And again, it's important to um, to hear your voice. So with all of that, I'm gonna turn it over to Patricia Carey. She is the head of your um, grad party and fingers crossed we're gonna, we're gonna have one. Um, thanks, Anne. Hello, everybody. My name is Patricia Carey. Sarah Zegan, Stacy Cleary, and myself are the co-chairs for the Senior Graduation Party Committee for the class of 2021. It's hard to believe that we're talking about graduation, but um, it will be here before you know it. So for many years, it has been a tradition at Greenwich High School to host a graduation party for its senior class. The graduation party committee works in partnership to support this event hosted by GHS. It is organized and funded by contributions made by the senior class parents and family members. While it may need to be reimagined this year, in the past, this event has included a DJ, arcade games, inflatables, pool and ping pong tables, drinks, um, a great raffle with prizes. Um, traditionally, this party takes place the night of graduation from 10, a, uh, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. It's a memorable highlight for the seniors on their graduation day. This is an occasion for all the seniors to gather one last time in a fun, safe, and festive environment. The party is open to all seniors in good standing at no charge, and it has historically been attended by over 75% of the class. While we agree, when we agreed at the end of our children's sophomore year to be the co-chairs of this committee, none of us imagined that we'd be living in the midst of a pandemic. Like all things this past year, this event will very likely need to be redesigned and reformatted. The party will very probably look different this year. We need to adhere to and respect whatever state and local guidelines and restrictions may be in place at the time. We will follow the best practices we can in order to make sure that all participants are safe. But it is truly our greatest hope that along with a creative, flexible, and open-minded parent committee and our, student, uh, our school administrators that we can create and provide a wonderful, safe celebration for the class of 2021 
um, that will be fant a fantastic send off after their many years in the Greenwich Public Schools. Um, this party is made possible solely by uh, generous do uh, uh, contributions of the family and friends of the senior class. The fundraising goal to run this party has been $28,000. Um, oh, yeah, $28,000. So we will need your help, and we hope you consider giving as generously as you can in order to help us make this event successful for all our seniors. Um, senior parents will receive an email from the PTA with more information, including an online link to the school to your school bucks account. You will all you can also make contributions via check, um, and again the details will be in a communication sent out later. Uh, additionally, our committee coordinates the graduation lawn signs and sale. We imagine you saw many of these this past spring. They are double sided signs that include your child's name on both sides. They are 24 by 18 inches large, and they come with a metal stake to put in the ground. We will have an early bird sale and price for signs sold in, uh, early in the year in, uh, by March, and those signs will be ready early spring, the end of March or the beginning of April. And then we will have a second sale with slightly increased prices for signs that will be ready um, in late May. The proceeds for the sale will go toward the party fund. This information will be included in a, the parent link and PTA emails, so you'll be able to purchase one or multiple signs for your, with your school bucks account or a check. We will be formating, uh, forming a committee to help organize, fundraise, um, respect all the guidelines, and help with all things graduation party. So, uh, but please note, if you want to be part of our committee, you will need to be a member of the PTA. If you have any questions, suggestions, or ideas, you can email us at gradparty at ghspta.org. Thanks. And Patricia, thank you so much for joining us tonight and uh, uh, giving us all that uh, information uh, about the, the PTA. Please join the PTA and for the graduation party. It's, uh, graduation party is always a, a hit uh, here and you know, no matter uh, what, form it takes this year, I'm sure that it'll be great and uh, uh, for our for our seniors. Um, they deserve everything that uh, we can give them. Uh, again, uh, my name is Ralph Mayo. I'm the principal of Greenwich High School. I'm a Greenwich High School graduate. We didn't have graduation parties back then, but oh, uh, I think we had our own at that point, but uh, it's another story for another day. Um, this is my 44th year uh, in the Greenwich uh, Public Schools. I started at Greenwich High School in 1976, and uh, here it is in the year uh, 2020, and uh, and here I am, I'm still here. Uh, my all four of my children uh, graduated from this school. I love this high school. It's it's uh, it's uh, I smile when I walk into this building, and I smile when I leave. Um, it's just an amazing place. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this year we have to uh, run it a bit differently, but. Um, the fortunate part is that your children um, are obeying every rule and regulation that we have uh, thrown at them. And we've thrown a, a great deal of uh, rules and regulations at them. Um, and uh, they're doing it because they know that it's going to keep this building open and keep us all safe. So I want to congratulate you parents for supporting us in this effort because, as I said, it's keeping this building open. Uh, there's different pathways around the school that we never used before. Uh, we're eating lunch in a completely different manner. We're doing, we're teaching and learning in, in different ways. So uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you, thank you for uh, putting up with all the uh, new rules and regulations. We deeply appreciate it, but it's something that we need to do to keep our, our kids safe and healthy and open and keeping this building open. Um, uh, as I said, we are teaching and learning in different ways, and uh, technology is one of them, um, and the use of technology. So we have students in front of uh, uh, a teacher, and we have students that are uh, online. And uh, that is uh, something that we're working on every day to improve. Um, so uh, thanks again for uh, helping us, and uh, send, us, send us any suggestions you might have, how uh, we can make that better, because that, that's our, uh, our mission daily to make that uh, online learning uh, as, as uh, productive as possible. 
Um, we have, uh, I think, some uh, great panelists for you tonight. Um, our senior class president and our senior, uh, the student government president are both here and they'll both uh, be speaking with you. We have the director of guidance, Ms. Judy Nadell. Uh, this is the third time I've worked with Judy Nadell. Third time's a charm, I think. Uh, Judy and I were, uh, Judy was one of my guidance counselors up in Clark House when I was the house master in Clark House. She was my assistant principal at Eastern and now she, she is as the director of guidance. It's so wonderful to be with Judy again. And uh, we have uh, the amazing Karen Foster who is just the most awesome uh, director of student activities I think we've ever had. And uh, a new face, Tom Pereira, our new Dean of Student Life, uh, our uh, previous uh, Dean of Student Life, uh, Ms. Dr. Lorraine Termi, retired in September. Tom was the uh, Dean of Students over at West Hill High School. So he comes to us with a great deal of experience. And uh, we're looking forward to working uh, with Tom and uh, for him to have a long tenure here at our high school. So those are our panelists. Those are the people that are gonna be speaking with you tonight. And uh, so again, welcome. Thank you for joining us. There's but there's 151 of you. Thank you, all 151 of you. Uh, again, if you have questions about anything that's being presented tonight, please uh, email the, the, the presenters, the panelists directly, and they will get back to you. Um, so without further ado, our senior student leaders, uh, Mr. Mark Chen, and uh, who is the uh, student government president, and Meredith Blanchard, who is our senior class president. Take it away. Okay, hey, hello parents. Um, my name is Meredith Blanchard and I'm the senior class president. Um, firstly, as a student, I want to thank you all for being here. Um, your continued support as parents is not lost on us and um, we really appreciate you coming to things like this. Um, so I just wanted to share a few updates on the senior class before we get started. Um, and I'd first of all like to say that we are working really tirelessly to make sure that this year can go as normally as possible for seniors. It's a really special year and um, we don't want the seniors to lose out on any of those privileges that come with being a senior. Um, so this includes the fact that we're already exploring socially distant prom ideas, uh, dress up days, SRO, and basically any activity that makes it really special to be a senior at GHS. We feel like it's really important to maintain morale um, during such a tough time like COVID um, so that's really a priority in all of the events we plan, that and safety, of course. Um, so right now, a lot of seniors are enjoying the fact that they're dismissed from school before underclassmen, and also that any senior who wanted parking was able to get a parking permit. We can also thank Ms. Foster for running an incredibly successful fundraiser in which we raised nearly $1,500 for the class of 2021. On another note, I'm sure that many of your students are anxious, anxiously putting the final touches onto their college applications right now. For one, I'm in that process and I know firsthand how stressful it can be. I just wanted to reassure you all that I've witnessed firsthand the amazing support of our guidance department. Don't feel too stressed because I promise your kids are in really good hands. I'll now turn the mic over to Mark Chen, our student body president. Uh, parents of the senior class, welcome. Uh, my name is Mark Chen, and it is such a pleasure to be here with you all tonight, if only virtually. I must say that our high school experience thus far has been such an incredible and transformative journey, and I know that many seniors must be dismayed at the potential prospect of being unable to participate in the senior events and traditions they so desired, or even engage with their senior year in the way they imagined. But as Meredith mentioned, the senior class officers and seniors in the student government executive committee are truly committed and working their hardest to deliver a fulfilling final year. As I've led our class for the past three years, I've witnessed our collective strength and unity in both perseverance and positivity. And as often repeated as it is, these are indeed challenging times. But our Greenwich High School community has done wonderfully to make the most of it, from administrators to faculty to students, and of course, parents with uh, without your support, uh, we could not be where we are here today. I know for a fact that students who are in school in the hybrid learning model are truly grateful and excited to engage in their learning personally through interactions with their teachers and peers. And although there are always improvements to be made and processes to be streamlined, our current learning situation is nothing short of amazing in light of the status quo. 
And I believe students recognize this fact as they continue to make the most of what they can do and engage in safe, healthy, community conscious measures to ensure that we can ultimately remain as we are. Of course, I hope that our situation will only improve from here, but given the uncertainty of the future, I also hope that we can make the most of what we have right now. And I trust that the senior class, our class, will rise to face its challenges as it has time and again. And parents, I truly thank you for your continued support. Thanks, Mark, appreciate it. Thank you, Meredith. I will see both of you tomorrow at our student government meeting. Uh, we meet monthly, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in case you didn't know that. Uh, and uh, student government always uh, brings some uh, very interesting uh, proposals to the table, which we have adopted because uh, I, quite frankly, I think that uh, our student body is a lot smarter than our administration at, at some times in, uh, in some areas. So uh, thanks you guys, I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you, at, uh, see you tomorrow at our uh, XCON meeting. Uh, our next speaker is Mr. Thomas Pereira. Uh, Thomas is our, as I pointed out before, is our new Dean of uh, Student Life. Uh, he has been here for probably, no, less than a month. Uh, and uh, he's getting used to our school and uh, our norms. So Tom, take it away. Thank you. Thanks, Ralph. Uh, yeah, 20 days. I've been there 20 days. <laughs> So we're, we're coming fast approaching a month um, and it's been great. And I want to echo everything that Mr. Mayo said earlier. The, the students are doing a fantastic job of adhering to all of the parameters that were set for safety. Um, when I've asked students to put their masks up, no one's given any back talk or back lip to any of the adults I've seen, which is shows that they want to be in school. They want to keep this building safe. And, and I do understand that this is not the senior year that any of them have envisioned but they're doing a great job of making the most of it, which I think really speaks to the resiliency of the students at Greenwich High School. Um, like Mr. Mayo said, I'm coming over from West Hill High School. Uh, for seven years, I was a ninth grade social studies and avid teacher. And then for the past seven years, I was the Dean of Students over there. So I'm super excited to join the Greenwich High School community. Um, if anybody has any and all issues, you, you wanna give me a call, shoot me an email, I'm, I'm more than willing. Um, I'm a liaison between the houses. If anything's going on in your child's life that you need somebody to think with or, or, or um, bounce ideas off of, please don't hesitate to reach out. And I, like I said, I'm just looking forward to seeing where the future holds. I know this is very uncertain terms, but I'm hoping that if we keep doing what we're, we're, we're supposed to be doing and our students keep doing what they're supposed to be doing, I, I think we're gonna be in a much better place um, a couple months from now. And, and again, I applaud all the resiliency in the world for our teachers and our students to literally being, whether they're in hybrid or remote, it's, it's an impressive thing that they're doing um, with, the, with the synchronous learning forum. So my hat's off to them and, and, and we are here to support and thank you very much. And I appreciate the opportunity to join the Greenwich High School family and community. Thank you, Tom. Uh, and welcome to Greenwich High School. It's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, I know you're replacing uh, a legend in uh, Dr. Termini, but uh, I think you can uh, meet those standards, those high standards that she has set for uh, all of us, actually, not just for you, but all of us. Um, our next uh, uh, panelist is uh, our uh, guidance coordinator, uh, Judy Nadell. Judy is the guidance coordinator for the entire district, uh, six through 12. Um, she also uh, does a lot of work with uh, uh, individual students uh, still. So uh, Judy, off you go. Thank you. Um, thank you, senior parents. I have about you know four things I would just like to share with you and then I'll uh, be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, the first is that you know the November 1 college application deadline is approaching um, and college applications and college admissions are definitely on uh, the minds of most seniors and most senior parents. Um, November 1st happens to be a Sunday this year. Um, so I want to assure you that there will probably still be a lot of letter writing that happens over that Halloween weekend. Um, the November 1 deadline is for the students' applications. 
Um, for the vast majority of colleges, there is no problem with, um, you know, Greenwich High School uh, letters and transcripts going out a day or two after November 1st. Um, so I definitely envision that there will be definitely some uh, letter uploading on November 2nd and 3rd into Naviance, and then they will be sent on their way by the guidance assistants in each house. Um, so uh, how students and parents can tell what is happening with their uh, documentation from school is in Naviance under the uh, colleges I am applying to tab. When students are looking at colleges, they use Naviance for um, colleges I'm interested in. And then the only way that um, colleges go into their colleges I'm applying to section of uh, Naviance is when they give their uh, guidance assistant a, a transcript re request, which we're doing all electronically this year. Uh, we no longer have the green sheets that uh, we use for probably 25 years. <laughs> um, we are now do using a Google Doc. So again, you know, any questions that you have about documents usually are best addressed to the guidance assistant in the house. They are the literally the ones that, you know, upload and press the buttons. Um, but again, as long as your, uh, your senior student can uh, confirm that their counselor and their teachers know when their first deadline is, I, I promise you that those letters will get up there in time uh, to get to the colleges uh, for early deadlines. Uh, the second thing is, I just want to say, given the fact that our focus, you know, is on college, as most uh, students do attend colleges after Greenwich High School, I want to assure you that the guidance department uh, and the counselors in the department can assist really with all types of post high school planning. Um, we can support all interests and all goals after high school. Allison Lockridge in the Career Center has um, done research over the past few years. Um, she has a whole roster of uh, local employers that will be happy to hire, or at least were before COVID, happy to hire uh, high school graduates for full-time employment. Um, so if a student wanted to work immediately after high school, um, Ms. Lockridge up in the Career Center can help with that. She also has a lot of research on apprenticeships in the trades, um, so that if a student is interested in that, she can help connect them to apprenticeships um, locally. Um, we also have a good rapport with um, you know, all of our military service um, people. Uh, we cannot have them physically in the building, but we definitely still have contacts with them and can help um, arrange students um, to meet with a military recruiter. Every year we hold the ASFAB at Greenwich High School, which is the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. We will continue to do that this April. Again, assuming we are physically in school, we will be having the ASFAB uh, in the Career Center um, in April as we usually do. So please, again, if your son or daughter is thinking outside the box and would like to uh, do something more unique after high school, please have them make an appointment with um, Allison Lockridge in the Career Center and she'll assist with that. Um, shifting to financial aid forms, typically after November 1st, uh, unless there were some very early deadlines for like say the CSS profile, which is a financial aid form, um, usually we tend to shift the kids to uh, filling out FAFSAs, the free application for federal student aid after November 1st. This process became much easier um, maybe four or five years ago when the FAFSA went to the prior prior year taxes. So as long as your 2019 taxes are done, uh, all that data from your 2019 taxes automatic, automatically get downloaded into the FAFSA. So um, the process of completing that FAFSA is much easier than it used to be. Um, so the house counselors, Allison Lockridge and the Career Center and college financial aid offices can very much assist you in completing those FAFSAs and um, the CSS profile if that is needed. Um, on Monday, January 17th uh, at 7 p.m., I will send you a reminder email well before then, I do hold a financial aid meeting um, specifically for seniors and their parents in January every year. And that focus really is on um, letting you know, uh, some, right, providing some tools and letting you know how to really compare award letters from colleges. Unfortunately, there is no set format for award letters from colleges. So you have to take a little bit of time to try and compare apples to apples when you are looking at um, financial aid offers from colleges. And I will assist with that on the 17th. This will, it will also be either, you know, Google Meets or Zoom um, meeting that we will have on that date as well. 
Uh, the Greenwich Scholarship Association is continuing to offer, um, you know, scholarships this year. If you've filled a family who has filled out a FAFSA would be eligible to also fill out the GSA, Greenwich Scholarship Association form. Um, they will be available in November. It will be an all online application process and there's a March 10th deadline for that. And um, Jennifer Lynch, who is one of our school counselors and our liaison to the GSA will be uh, promoting that to all of the seniors and the counselors will be reminding you uh, to fill out those applications. And then finally, a uh, topic dear to my heart, although we were crushed a little bit last year is senior internships and senior project. Um, so uh, last spring, uh, we had to uh, very quickly shift after getting all the kids signed up for senior internships and senior projects uh, to a very truncated, short little individual project that the seniors had to, were able to participate in um, last, uh, I guess, late May, early June. Um, I don't know, honestly, what's going to happen this May and June, but I just want to let you, you know, seniors and senior parents know that um, we're already going to begin the process um, pretty much immediately after November 1st, the entire career center starts to shift to take a look at um, what internship sites we can possibly bring back from the past. And so through the month of, of uh, November and then all of December, we try and uh, gather as many internship sites as possible. Now, obviously we are expecting that not all of our sites will be able to come back this May and June, but we're hoping that some of them will, and we're hoping for the best, you know, in Connecticut so that, um, you know, uh, offices and uh, organizations will be up. Um, you know, as you may know, we place a lot of kids in our middle schools and our elementary schools and our middle schools and elementary schools love having our uh, high school uh, seniors and, you know, soon to be graduates be in their schools. I do not know whether we will, you know, be allowed to do that this year, but we're going to be organizing and getting the kids um, registered in the senior options website in case we are able to physically go out. We think we should plan for the best um, and, um, you know, kind of go from there. Um, the other part, uh, the other collaboration that will be happening very soon also is that we collaborate with the media specialist on the senior projects part. Uh, we probably, you know, we may push that timeline a little uh, uh, later than we usually do to allow for more flexibility. Um, but last year, again, if we were able to make something happen for the seniors last year, I feel confident we'll make something good happen for them um, this spring as well. So stay tuned. Thank you. Thanks, Judy. Uh, this, you know, the senior internship program is close to our hearts and uh, we really would love to see it run. We're, but it's all gonna depend on what happens with the, uh, the virus and, uh, and, and uh, the state of our, our state actually. Um, so uh, the, other, the other couple of things I wanted to mention before I introduce uh, Mrs. Foster is um, we're uh, gonna be building, hopefully, a new entrance way to Greenwich High School, which will be um, something that will uh, that's been needed for many years. Um, I don't know if your children will see it or not, but I'm hoping that that'll get done uh, uh, very quickly. It's a it's a safety issue, and we're also uh, finally have the money to move forward with uh, Cardinal Field, um, and that's another uh, project that uh, it's been uh, we've been waiting a long time to have that done. So. Um, I, I just uh, grateful to uh, all of you uh, as uh, taxpayers in the town of Greenwich for uh, supporting uh, the schools and the school budget. Okay, Mrs. Foster. Hi everybody and welcome and thank you for coming. So I'm gonna go over a couple important things for seniors. So in August and again, a couple weeks ago, I sent out um, a sheet that said important dates and deadlines for seniors. Now this is important dates and deadlines just from student activities. So there's a lot of different things that go on in the school, guidance, colleges, athletics and stuff, but this is stuff just specific to student activities. Um, a couple, some deadlines are coming up. So the big one has, a lot of deadlines have to do with the yearbook right now. So we're gonna start off with senior photos. Uh, all senior photos need to be chosen by November 1st. So what does that mean? That means that you need to log on to that Robert Taylor website and everybody has been sent that information. It was on when you um, signed up for your senior portraits and it's been sent home and it's also on that sheet. All the links I'm gonna talk about are on that sheet that I sent out. 
um, by November 1st, you need to choose your yearbook. So your picture for the yearbook. So when you go and when you log in, automatically a pop-up will come up and it'll say, would you like to choose your yearbook photo? Sometimes if you look at it lots of times, you say, no, 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 no. And then you decide that you want to do it. You can tell that your yearbook photo has been chosen because underneath the image that you choose, it will say YB. That means that that is the yearbook photo that you have chosen. If you do not choose a photo for your um, child or your child doesn't choose the photo for themselves before or by November 1st, then the photographer will then choose one because they have to then in turn get all the photos back to um, uh, the yearbook advisor so they can start making the yearbook. So that's the first big deadline that's coming up. If you had your pictures retaken on that last date that we just recently did, your photos will be coming up very soon on the website, but I do know that they're not there yet, okay? So don't panic, but everyone else's photos are already there. By December 1st, if you would like to order senior portraits, and again, a lot of the stuff I'm gonna talk about are, is optional at this point, okay? If you would like um, to order senior portraits, you may do so. Again, you choose the photo from the Robert Taylor website. You go on, you pick what kind of package that you want. You order directly through them. They then mail you the packages directly to your house. So unlike in previous years where everything comes to the school first and then your child picks it up, senior portraits are um, sent directly to your house. Then we move on to December 18th. So there's, there's three big things coming up by the 18th. One is your senior ad. Again, this is optional. It's an ad if you would like to put in the yearbook. Um, that is due by December 18th. I will tell you, give yourself time to do it. It takes longer than you think. And when everyone tries to do it on the 18th, inevitably something happens and you have a hard time doing it. I will say it's, it, it's sometimes it's a little hard if you're trying to um, go in for Chrome versus Firefox and you can't do it on a, on a, on a phone and sometimes uh, um, work uh, networks block the website and stuff. So definitely give yourself time to do that senior ad. Again, it's optional, but if you do want to do it, start now because you know you don't want to wait until that last minute and then miss the deadline. Your students also have an option to put in a senior quote or senior activities. That deadline is also December 18th. And then if you would like to guarantee that your child has a yearbook, they need to be purchased by December 18th. Yearbooks can be purchased after that, but then it becomes a first come first serve basis. So what they do is because they have to figure out, okay, how many orders do we have already? How many do we think we're going to get? They need to set a number. So if you want to guarantee that your child gets a yearbook, order it by December 18th. Um, after that, it comes first come first serve. I will tell you that there have been years that the yearbooks have been sold out and we've had seniors that have not had yearbooks because they did not order them and it was June and they're like, but I want a yearbook. We're like, we don't have any more because they've all been sold out. Um, so those are your upcoming deadlines really from now until the end of December. Um, once we switch over to the new year, then you'll start getting information from me about graduation and some other events, SRO and um, I help out somewhat with the post-grad party in terms of getting some information out. Um, but those are your big deadlines that are coming up. Again, I sent that form out because I wanted everyone to have it so that they could plan it, you know, kind of plan out the year. Um, I emailed it twice. It's also on the website. So if you go to student life and then student activities, it's also one of the first links there as well. Okay. Um, so that's important upcoming events. Parking. Yay. Every senior got parking. It's like it's the first time in a lot of, a lot of many, many years. Um, it's still available. Yes. Juniors are now, um, we're accepting 75 parking. We're giving 75 parking spots to juniors per cohort, but we still have spots for seniors. I did not give away all the spots. I still have some for seniors because I know seniors are still coming in. Here's what I will tell you though. Before your child can come in and get their parking permit, they must follow all the directions that I outlined in my emails that went out in August and September. They have to sign up online first, and then they have a couple, they have four things that they need to bring with you. All that information is detailed in the emails that I've sent out previously. Um, uh, we will, that's for semester one. When semester two comes, we repeat this whole process. If we're in hybrid, we're going to plan on the same thing. If something changes, then we will let you know how we're going to deal with parking. Um, addresses. It is extremely important that we have your correct address in Aspen. 
especially your senior year, because things get mailed home to senior parents and to seniors, um, including last year, we ended up mailing their, their um, diplomas. So please make sure that your address is correct in Aspen. If you have moved, you need to do an address verification. All that needs to be done through uh, the, your house, you know, whatever house that, you're, that your student is in. So please, please, please make sure that the address is correct in Aspen. Um, PTA incentives. Thank you for those of you who've already joined. If you haven't joined, please consider joining. The because we haven't, we did not have um, in-person open houses. Student activities has are trying to help out the PTA, and we have been distributing the, the PTA incentives. Um, if it is two hundred fifty dollars or less, if it's higher than that, then I know they've been making arrangements in, uh, individually. But we are passing them out. I do know the PTA is going to be at school tomorrow in the front circle between four and six, if you'd like to pick up your PTA incentives there. Otherwise, uh, you can send your child to the school store to pick them up there. Um, you are not finished with me though, because I will be joining your meeting in April. And at that point, we will be talking more about graduation, no matter what it turns out to be. This will be my fourth year here. And so out of three graduations, we've had three different graduations each time. So no matter what it's going to be, it will be a success. So you'll hear more from me in April. Thank you, Karen. Uh, that is the end of our, um, our formal program. If you, if you uh, as I said to you at the beginning, if you had questions for any of the panelists, please uh, email them. I saw a few questions that were uh, submitted already. Um, can the party be out, the graduation party be outside? Absolutely, there's no reason why that couldn't happen. Uh, can you suggest an amount for the parent participation for the party. Uh, Patricia, do you um, have any amount or just yeah, whatever they can afford? Um, I don't have an amount. I guess someone did quick math and said $41 each. I, I think we, we put a number up and, and people contribute what they like. If everybody contributed, that would be amazing. I, I just don't think that's probably what happens. Okay. But do whatever you can, whatever you can helps. And um, was there a graduation party last year? No, there was not. We didn't have, we weren't able to do that. Um, didn't they have something remote though? I was actually trying to, I couldn't remember Karen, what, what you guys did last they year. They had uh, the, in conjunction with the PTA and the post-grad party committee, they had um, some gifts for the students and then they had a beautiful video that they had. And it was part of, at the end of the virtual graduation ceremony, it was followed by the video from the PTA. And uh, they were also given a gift bag. Uh, one of our parents just uh, reminded us of that. Thank you so much. Um, and um, the senior portrait company's uh, name is uh, Robert Taylor, right? It's so Robert Taylor and I will send out a reminder email with everything I just said today, tonight. I will send all that out again in a concise form with links and directions and everything. Okay. Um, I think that's it for questions. Uh, uh, again, we deeply appreciate your participation in tonight's uh, panel discussion. And again, if you have questions that you want to ask any of us, please uh, email us. Uh, we will get back to you, I promise. And let's see, we have one more. Let's see what else we got here. Um, we got to thank you. Yes, we did. Um, Okay, and so again, thank you all uh, for participating. And again, we will, uh, again, we will have another one of these uh, meetings uh, in April, as uh, Karen pointed out, and and we'll be discussing the end of the year for our, our seniors. So uh, again, uh, thank you very much for participating, and uh, have a great night. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you.